Hey everyone, I'm Lisa, Broadway fangirl extraordinaire. Thanks for joining me for another episode of PNC Broadway and Columbus's Broadway Dish. Today we're chatting about theater etiquette, shows leaving Broadway, and the Hamilton app. Let's dive right in. Remember the story of Patti Lapone taking away an audience member's cell phone? Or the story of an audience member trying to charge their cell phone on the set of Hand to God? Think it doesn't get much worse than that? Well, it does. Last week, during a performance of the Book of Mormon on Broadway, an audience member decided to FaceTime a friend. And what made it worse? They turned their phone around so the screen faced the stage and the actors could see everything. Just a reminder, when you're enjoying a Broadway or a theater performance, turn off your cell phone and enjoy the live entertainment. Last week, Bill Murray, the star of the Groundhog Day movie, visited the musical Groundhog Day on Broadway, not once, but twice. While his glowing reviews helped boost ticket sales, it couldn't keep the show from setting its closing date of September 17th. Also closing on that day is the musical Bandstand. The Great Comet of 1812 recently announced September 3rd as their closing date. So if you'll be in NYC soon, make sure you check out those great shows. Hamilton love runs deep. Even if you can't score a ticket to the hottest show around yet, with a book, the mixtape, and the PBS documentary, there are plenty of ways to get your Hamilton fix. And now, to add to the obsession, there is a Hamilton app. It's available in both iTunes and the Google Play Store. The app allows you to enter ticket lotteries, share show-related stickers, take and share photos using the ham cam and show-themed overlays, learn about ticket updates and other Hamilton-related news, and purchase merchandise. And that's it for this week's episode of PNC Broadway and Columbus's Broadway Dish. We'll see you again next week. Bye.